Hello, this is Star Dragons. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be talking about basic of PvP and PvE. So, <clears throat> basically, um, there in a in a PvP, you know, like there's some people just going to start off using the sword and the archer in the beginning of the game. Most people I see they use um the blazing fist and. Uh, and a mage. Some people use archer and mage. So when I play conquer the temple, basically you're gonna be one who's just going to use, been using fist and a sword, and then there are another one that's gonna be using long range. That is okay. That's one strategy, but I see that works in in a more of a depth match than than conquer a temple. Conquer a temple is like it's as long as you stay in the temple long enough, then you win the match. And depth match is like how many it's like how many kills you can get capture the flag it's like how many how many flag you can capture in it, like in, the, in that time limit so basically um when fi I in, in my in my opinion um in conquer a temple I, I prefer using an archer and a sword basically because in the sword I can just dive on the people and uh, and get to a temple before like before like the anyone can. And I use long range in the archer part because it, when when they're like far away off, off a temple, I get I can only thing I need to do is just stay in the temple and just shoot arrow. Sometimes that sometimes I don't do that when they when they get close enough, I, I still I would do it just to like just to just to poke at them. Archer would cause more damage than a sword and fist, but unless unless if you charge your sword and your fist long enough. It causes more damage than than an archer can. Archer does 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 do charge up too, but um, mainly it's going to be the other one going to be do the most charging. Because I see most people just like charge when you use archer or mage to charge. Um, it's going to, they have to stay far away. While with the fist, you can just like charge in immediately unless someone else attack you and break your uh, break down your skills. So. And in a depth match, though, I saw people also use the same thing. They did use a uh, like archer and mage. I still use sword and sword and archer, the same thing. So it's basically in all the matches, I, and I've never used a fist. Well, actually, I have, but I just don't use a fist in the in the PvP just because it's like because when every time I use it. <clears throat> There's going to be someone that's just going to dive and attack me anyway, so it could because in my in my like I can only think I only move I have is like E R and F there there um I have a energy ball I can just attack and just dive in but I prefer using the sword because I have more I have more like an mobility type. This does too, but I like to dive in on people when play, in a death match guy I can like support my team I could just like jump in and just like can knock the knock the enemy in midair. Archer had that um fist does have that too, but um I was feeling you to the dive one instead. I saw people use fist in there too. Mostly archer and mage. I don't use mage in there in uh, PvP just because of, like attack is very slow. Unless unless you use a fireball like charge up for like three seconds and blow, but that move that move can you can dodge that move actually if you time it right. And they have red, the raining snow. Uh, I don't know what you call it. You just press F and it just rain, and it just all snow down. And if you have it in the level three or level two or star or level three star, it's a sword will come down. So basically, that move works too. It's only it slow down your opponent. It causes damage too, but it's not like it's going to be long enough in order to like cause a huge amount of damage. So um, that's why I don't use major in there. Some people does use mages. Um, I saw they use it in Conquer a Temple, but um, in Conquer a Temple, I supposedly see in long range it's like it's useful in some ways, but mages, mm, I don't know. If you saw my, if you saw day 19 in the PvP, someone did use a mage on me, I just chased after them, and they couldn't even dodge right. So I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just me, but. I, I was attacking with a sword, so basically I could dive on. I could basically dive on on the person and didn't even know it's coming. Until you know it's coming, he just ran away. But he couldn't get away quick enough, so so that's why I just smack him. So that's how it is. 
um, for the for capture of flag. I don't play capture of flag yet in this in this um in this term, but in quarter one I have. <coughs> A lot of people using archer, uh, archer and uh, sword basically. Uh, this, to be honest, I rarely see that in in uh, in a PvP mess, in a PvP capture a flag match some uh, in some ways. But neither way it works. For for that, um, yeah, in my opinion, I just go and use archer, sword and archer. That's my main for if I, if I do PvP in that in that situation. Major in good situation. It will be um in uh, like somewhere something like a depth mash. I would say major will be the best in using depth mash because it's 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 it's, it's kind of like trying to slow down their opponent. After that, you then then your other then your teammate can actually attack them, and you also can do poke damage on them too. And conquer the temple. I prefer using a sword and an archer. Some people will go for a sword and. And the fists because they're they're more durable against um, a physical and uh, and magical attack. So that's that's the reason why I use a sword. So a lot of people just go and use long range, and it happened before. They just like I was standing in the castle, and the other person stand long range, and uh, and while the other two person who stand in the castle the whole time, I was attacking, and he was attacking long range. Basically, we lost in the Contra Temple because, like, there's not enough people who, that can in order to sustain long enough in the temple. So that's how we lost. That's why I I don't usually stay outside the temple all the time. I just going to I just going to try to find, figure out the right time to attack. Death match, and it, it's it's build it's this is related more on mechanics because you have to like think more. I just you still use archer and a sword. Even though they're like, because in uh, um, deathmatch, there's gonna be two people going be going against you. They kind of like going going to China one v one v two you in in a situation and you're not in the right way. Some people just going to like get the sword and just like stand in front line and uh, archer in the back or mage in the back and do some poke damage. Kind of like kind of like in in other games like that. But I was, to be honest, I still don't. But to be honest, I, I, it's a good strategy <clears throat> to use, and I say it bad if you position yourself right. Mages can use their um, range attack, very long range attack. Archer can, but Archer doesn't have the doesn't have that much range that the uh, than uh, mages have. Archer have a limited range. Mages, you can actually use your um, rainy snow like long as you can. A sword, I can get die. I can just use my leap jump and just dive in so far away. It used to be very far, but uh, now I only you got easy since it's a death match. I only can jump halfway. I think they nerfed that somehow in the quarter two. And capture a flag. Um, I don't. I play capture flag in quarter one, and based on my experience, um, capture the flag. I I prefer people who I prefer using a um a fist and an archer in the in a capture a flag. Because capture the flag, if you, if you got the flag, then you get to run and get to your base. This have uh, have good movement speed on it. Archer have good range. Some people use major because they can like teleport away and have have range damage. And that's mostly people going use the snow and the fireball basically. And I'm not talking about the fireball that you that you stand and do your basic mobility. It's a skill I'm talking about. It mostly is going to be on E. Pressing letter E, charge up three seconds, and then boom, they're attacking them. Okay, so basically that move you can dodge it unless you can caught someone off guard or they didn't see you coming using that move. It happened already, and I was like, wait, what the person doing? And they just attacked me. I was like, what the hell? It's like, damn. Okay, I shouldn't know that because I've been playing the because I've been playing this game since the alpha server during November 2017. And somehow I haven't played it so long in PvP, so I just totally forgot. But I got used to it. <clears throat> and I don't. And in the in the secret portal match, uh, I just don't. I don't prefer going the secret portal match no more because my sword doesn't do. It's like when I try to squeeze through the two towers there, it just actually slide fly across. So I was like, what man? I can't even. Use, I can't even fight in there. So 
So yeah, that's why I don't do um those things no more. I will do the death mash if I feel like it. Death mash is like uh, like in the, in the feel, not like in uh, that secret portal no more. I don't wanna, because it's still it's still they still need to fix that. So yeah. So basically, um, if you have any, any idea about it, then uh, you, then let me know in the comment. I'll I'll try to answer it. If you, because I want because I'm right now I'm not a professional or anything. I just learning, and I think everyone feels the same way too. They're learning. Whoever say they're a professional, I don't trust them. So <laughs> maybe probably you don't trust me either. But it, 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 it just, I just that, like I said, I based, this is based on my opinion. I actually want to hear your thought and opinion too. Because I'm because I'm trying to learn from others and and based on my experience too so, okay so basically now talking about pve now in pve there are going to be some bosses most bosses are going to be have armor damage armor uh, and armor to help uh, help them resist from stun damage on those things until you can break the armor then they're, they're most likely to be vulnerable but in the situation though i prefer using the fist and against them this or sword, but in one of them because they have a good um action endurance. I can like they can have they have a good power. They have a good skill power in order to break armor easily. I use the fist because I can charge charge my skill and break them right right away. Sword does does that too. They have more skills that can do that, but uh, um the fist have more an attack and attack speed than the sword does. Archer have more attack, Major have more magical attack, and also very powerful. But in for mages, I would I not rec I don't recommend using it. I will if you want it to, you can learn to use it, but I would I don't recommend using it in PVE because most bosses if you go and use if you go and use the ma if you go and use the mages, then basically you won't take much of the armor. You gonna take like slightly of it. Archer does the same thing too. But the 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 at least cause armor damage. Major doesn't do that unless you have the hailing power and the fireball. Well, actually, the fireball does cause armor damage too. But the hailing only works if you have a up to start start two or three because that's when the summon the sword. That's when it can cause damage. Only thing is, major does cause um cause does cause some. Major does have some armor damage, but it takes time to charge up in order to get powerful and in order to cause do it. So basically, I don't use mage that much. I use sword or fist. I use fist and archer because archer can attack long range. I can just like attack him, lift him up, uh, just knock him up in the air, and just constantly attacking him, causing damage before they can regenerate the armor right back. Sometimes, and the part I I don't like is like. When they when uh, when they got knocked down already, when I broke the armor, knocked down, and they just came back up and recovered the armor already. I like, I can't even attack them while they're on the ground. In PvP, when they're on the ground for like just a second, you still can attack them. That's what I like. For PvE, that didn't happen. I guess it's, they they changed that or somehow. Actually, they had that since since the since the alpha. During the alpha, it actually takes long for them to uh, to get back up. So uh, I hate to wait to get back up. They, they decrease the, the time to get back up already. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you saw, if you did see in my video, I always use this and uh, and archer in the uh, in uh, PVE most of the time. And you see, I mostly charge up my skill and attack. Dealing with um. Enemy that that yeah, actually is like two v two, like an elf, like an elf and a panther in part. So basically, I've been t I'm constantly attacking the elves, the archer one because I can I I you got my fists have a have a good ability to like knock her armor out very quickly. She actually easily a knockout. If you use archer against her or mage against her, that won't do much. That's why I, I or every time I go against the elf, I always attack the archer first. Because they don't, because sometimes time, because one time I let my teammate attack the archer. She's been using the range like archer against her, and of course we lost. It was a hard match. A reason why sometimes I constantly die in, in the hit KO is because they're glitch in that game. So, so don't blame me. I die because 
that was a glitch there. I don't know why. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. It happened in the Panther place too. Um, in the Panther, I always attack the Summoner first though, and then I take out the Panther. So because Summoner is easier to take out, it takes take time. If my teammate know what they're doing, then we can beat Grand Chase easily. Yep, so in Panther I use Rangers because you always do it. I get hide behind a tree like most of the time. <clears throat> I have to try to be careful not to die in some situation. When you get when every time it gets harder, they're gonna have they're gonna have another skill that you won't even know and yeah, will surprise you. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing about the PvP part. If you guys whoever ever whoever one you try to increase um like Go PvP a lot and try to raise your rank into rank E, like rank D to from rank E or something like that, or rank A. Hate to break it to you, the rank does not change what how you play. Because ranks do not matter at all in, in, in when it comes to PvP. It doesn't change the fact of like uh, who you are or anything. Only thing it the only thing it ma only thing is is mean higher rank means it's just like you play a lot of PvP. Great thing it's the same thing for PvE. If you hit Grand Chase, it just means that you you already know the attack pattern, how the boss goes and basically you can avoid that. That's the same for ev that's the same for everything. PvP even PvP. If you know the person's attack then you can just actually avoid that too. That's how that's how I learned it. It kind of, it's not most of, some people think it's like, oh, rank does mean something. No, it doesn't at all. Or it moves things like that. And I, and I show sure some of you are beginner, uh, still learning, but whoever watched my video, <coughs> you probably will learn. I think in some video, I'm the only one who maybe, cut in, in a, in a whole video right now, I'm the only one who've been talking about the PvE and the PvE, PvE, PvP, so. So yeah, P PvP and rank doesn't mean anything. It's just like only thing in PvP you do is you just try to learn your opponents. Like you watch your opponent do, it and then you attack. You just wait for a right time. They miss their skill, you attack them. So, so base, that's a basic step already in there. There are some more steps, but I will. I don't know how to explain the next step though. But I will in a few in a future video. So that's all I have for you guys today. So. So leave a comment if you have any question on my video so far. Maybe I'm all over the place when talking about PvP and I push switch to PvP or something because things just pop in my mind. So um, I'll be going off right now. So leave a comment below if you have any question to explain, and I'll see you catch y'all next time. Peace.